I happened to be awake about the time that he had sent out the tweet and I'm just, you know, sitting there on Facebook and all of the, the news articles started popping up on Twitter about, oh my gosh, what is this word? What does it mean? And that word landed on her license plate. President Trump's typo conquered Twitter at the end of May. Now that word, kafifi, is on a Cortland woman's license plate, and she's the only person in Ohio who will be able to have it. First News reporter Tyler Trill talked with her today and got the story behind this personalized plate. Yeah, Dave, Brittany Scott says she was at Taco Bell one night when someone decided to take a picture of her license plate. That person uploaded it onto Reddit, and ever since, Brittany says she's gained some popularity online. <laughs> it's been fun. I've gotten text messages from friends in Texas before I even saw it online. What started as a couple of drinks and a lighthearted joke gained Brittany Scott a little notoriety. Yeah, there was just a little bit of liquid courage behind it and saw the picture of the guy in California that had, you know, hey, my dad just got this as a license plate. And I was like, you know what? I need a new one anyways. Sure, let's do it. I didn't actually think it'd go through. Well, it did, and now Brittany's been driving around with Kofifi on her car for a few weeks. But just because a tweet from President Trump inspired her plates, doesn't necessarily mean she's a supporter. Definitely ironic. I am a diehard Bernie fan. So Brittany is one of the lucky ones. The Ohio BMV says they've denied over 200 license plate requests so far this year. Ohio's Bureau of Motor Vehicles has people fill out the application for custom plates on their website. A BMV committee meets every day researching those requests and then decides if the license plate is appropriate or not. Scott says so far she's only received a positive response. I haven't had anybody, you know, sending me messages, and hopefully that will stay that way. Um, everybody, most of them, just think it's lighthearted and funny. Any hand gestures? <laughs> no, nothing bad, anyways. Just some waves. So I mentioned the 200 or so license plates that the BMB has denied thus far. We have the full list on our website, WKBN.com, for you to check out. From the studio tonight, Tyler Trill, WKBN 27 First News at 6.